we have never had a fused medal before at UCLA. So I, I'm happy for him, first of all, but I'm also happy for UCLA. It's often been referred to as the Nobel Prize in mathematics because there's no Nobel Prize in mathematics. It's better, in a way, than the Nobel Prize because they only give one every four years. So it's not given to just one result. It's really the whole career up to that point. Terry Tao was a prodigy in mathematics. He was like a Mozart. Well, as long as I can remember, I, I always enjoyed, enjoyed math. Um, my parents told me that at age two, I was trying to teach other kids to count using these, these, these alphabet and number blocks. So here's Terry doing, doing great mathematics problems at age eight or nine, doing college work at age 12. He got a 760 on the, on the math SAT, but that's at age eight. He won the math Olympiad when he was 13, and it's an international worldwide competition. He got a PhD at age 21 at Princeton. And then I, I came to UCLA. There were people here I wanted to work with, like John Garnett, for instance, and uh, the weather was sunnier than Princeton. <laughs> Math is a very collaborative and cumulative process, and you really do get the sense that each, you know, each century, each decade, each year, you are, you are building another layer on top. The prime numbers were one of the first things studied in, uh, in number theory, in fact, by the ancient Greeks. They were sort of the, uh, the epitome of pure mathematics. People, there was sort of no use for primes. Because nowadays, primes are, are extremely important in cryptography. You know, your, 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 your credit card, your ATM machine, and so forth, is secure because of large prime numbers. He began uh, in a subject called harmonic analysis, the area I'm in, and so that's why we're connected. He is so enormously talented that he branched out into very many other areas very quickly. He's enormously gifted. He has a way of seeing through problems uh, more quickly than anyone else. I would love to have a eureka moment, actually. In order to do that, you have to come up with the wrong idea, work on it for a month, realize it doesn't work, come up with the next wrong idea, work, work, work that, and then finally my process of elimination, find out something that works. The best graduate student around the world in number theory want to come to UCLA to work with Terry. Finally understanding how something works is like something really works, a, a, a click moment, um, is, is really satisfying um, and you feel smarter. In a way you can think of this as like John Wooden at UCLA as a basketball coach. You know, people want to come because they think they can, they can be better themselves. They want to work with the best. I would say at the present time he's the best mathematician in the world. I go around, I travel around the world and I'm known as uh, the dean where Terry Tao works. <laughs> That's how I'm known, <laughs> okay? UCL is known as the place where Terry Tao works. I would love to see that happen in my lifetime. The stuff that I do will become sort of the foundation of, 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 you know, who, uh, of the next generation of people to, uh, to carry on.